It's finished here today, altering in one older shot town too, and we're talking to fullback Connor Hampson. Uh, Connor, what were your overall thoughts on, on today's game? Well, obviously, uh, it's a disappointing result. Um, started very, very slow. You know, I think you've got to give full credit to, that, to them, though. They came, they, they put the press on. Uh, we were a bit shaky. But I think after that, the 15 minutes towards the, the end of the first half and then second half, to be honest, I think we, we dominated. We had some good chances. Um, obviously, they put us on the, on, the, on the counter. And then we've managed to get back into the game, but not been able to rescue any points, which is, obviously, like I said before, disappointing. Aldershot very much on the front foot, first uh, 10 or 15 minutes, and they've got the open, the all-important opening uh, goal. From our, it was a decent goal from their point of view, but from our point of view, a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, he's quitting from the left-hand side, and you know, you might say that you'd be able to put a bit more pressure on the ball, um, but I don't know, sometimes you shoot and it goes through people's legs, and obviously Tomo's probably unsighted, he's not, not moved. People say it's near post, but I think he's unsighted, so it's, it's difficult for him to, to make the save. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good finish for him. Slowly but surely, we got a foothold in the game. One clear-cut opportunity in the first half, and it was your long ball, which uh, some, somehow found its way through to Tom Piers. Yeah, I meant that. Um, no, uh, Piers will obviously be disappointed that he didn't get his shot off earlier. Uh, I think we did say that we needed to maybe play a little bit longer in behind him to try and get in behind him and stretch him so then we could play. Um, Piers, he went through. Obviously, it was a great tackle from there, lad, and got the corner. Uh, but I think we, in the second half, we tried a little bit more of that. Uh, we got him behind him, and I think it, it helped us to get a foothold in the game. Andy Dales, I've hardly got a touch in the first half, but second half, he looked a, a real threat and a superb effort that hit the crossbar. Yeah, decent debut for him. Obviously, like you said, in the first half, didn't really get involved in the game. I don't think that's that's down to him. I think it was down to how we played. Obviously, the first half an hour wasn't, wasn't good enough. Um, second half, got him on the ball a bit more. I think he showed them what he could do, the qualities that he had, you know, driving at his full-back. Uh, cut inside and yeah, like you say, good shot. Um, just thought, unfortunate it didn't, didn't go in the net. Second goal has uh, not quite killed us, but certainly taken the stuffing out of us. It's quite a well worked uh, goal, but um, frustrating. Yeah, like I say, I mean, second half we were on top. I'd say we're the better side in the second half. Um, we had the possession, I think we were building, and they've just broken us and, you know, ball across the box, a little set. And I think he's, he's finished it well, but from where I am, it's bobbled as well over Tomo's hand. He's there and it's bobbled over Tomo's hand, which is obviously unfortunate as well. Um, but that was a major setback for us then. 1-0, you're still in the game. 2-0, you're kind of in the game, but you obviously got to go and get those two goals and we weren't able to do it today. We've had three number 10s out there today and, and not Josh, Josh Hancock wasn't one of them. So started with Matty Coslow. I think he you know, he looks like he's going to be a really good uh, signing for the uh, for the club. Yeah, he's a fantastic player. You know, he's neat and tidy on the ball, but he's got a fantastic attitude as well. Uh, I think you can see that. I think he, you know, he really does work for the team. Um, and I think you, you, you see him bits of quality and I think we just need to get him on the ball and in better areas for him to, to do damage to other teams. And I'm sure that will come throughout the season. Now, Alistair Smith came on on loan from Mansfield and uh, he was playing in the number 10 role for a, for a, for a little while. And great piece of play on on the uh, goal because he's opened up, a, he's just created a bit of space from nothing and a lovely little ball through to Tom Pierce, who's done very well to control it. Yeah, he's come in, obviously didn't start the game, but come on and then, you know, he was dem demanding the ball, which is always a good sign. Uh, wanted the ball, played forward, which is good. Um, like you say, Piers, he probably got his rewards for, for his hard work that he's, he's done over the last few games. And, you know, hopefully he'll get in the, them areas throughout the season and he'll put the ball in the back of the net. And Curtis Miller's come on and he's been involved from the word go, which the ball does seem to sort of find him as soon as he does come onto the pitch but he's had played a quite a cameo appearance and a great run carved his way through the heart of the older shot to defense good piece of defending to block the shot yeah full credit to him you know he's worked hard after his injury um he's come back this pre-season he's impressed you know everyone in the squad uh and he's you know, he's quite quick as well he opened it up for himself there and just unfortunately he couldn't find find the back of the net but He'll be a good player for us, you know, wherever he starts or wherever he comes on, he'll, he'll make good impact, he's quick, he's, he's direct and, he's, you know, he's good on the ball. So I'm, I'm sure he will do well for us throughout the season. And you've had a good run in the team in, in recent weeks. Uh, how have you found the step up to National League? Yeah, you, obviously you're coming up against more, better organised sides, uh, probably fitter and stronger. Obviously being full-time, it helps them. Um, obviously we're doing what we can do. We're in, you know, a few times a week to try and to try and equal them um, but yeah I'm, you know I'm enjoying it so it's, it's good it's going to be difficult for us obviously but 
I think we'll we'll be fine. We've just got to keep plugging away. The lads are grafting away from from the pitch, and that's all we can you know we can ask for. And we finally got off the mark at home, which is uh, yeah, a good thing to do. We, we we need to get at least a point against Chesterfield on Tuesday. Yeah, well, you know, we need to pick up points regardless of who it's against. You know, um, winning games is obviously going to survive. Well, that's that's the main aim, and then obviously we'll kick on from there. Um, so we just need to pick up points where we can. It's not, you know, we always go to the next game, see if we can get a point, get three points, and just go. And I think the, the main thing for us is to get our performances right. If our performances come, then we'll we'll start picking up points. No, no, no danger. And on a personal uh, note, so you've got to be pleased with your performances in recent games. Thought you were excellent at Wheelston uh, last Saturday, and another very good performance today. It's always nice, I suppose. But you know, for me, the end result is how the team doing obviously at the moment we're not picking up the points so yeah it's okay to be playing well but I think for me it's always and it always will be is about how the, how the team doing um, so if we can get these performances and also get the get the three points or get pick up points where we can then that, that'll be better that's the thoughts of uh, Altrincham fullback Connor Hampson after the 2-1 defeat against Aldershot uh, Town at the J Davidson Stadium